What's up guys? So today is Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna be heading to China on Saturday. So today I have the day off from work and I'm gonna be running some last minute errands and seeing my parents and Janice and having some dinner with them for the last time before I leave for 11 days. Uh, so this morning I went ahead and I tried to drop off my car at U-Haul so I can get my uh, hitch installed. I, I do have a, a jet ski that I ride during the summertime and they did not order <laughs> my hitch after I had ordered it three, re three weeks prior and paid for it, which I was kind of bummed about because I wanted that to be done with so when I get back it's time to hit the uh, hit the water but it's okay uh, the good thing is is that uh, right next door they had a place that does suspension and I had already ordered my uh, springs for my car so I just went over dropped it off and uh, they're work currently working on the springs and the uh, and the offset of the tires right now which I'm excited to go see what it finally looks like uh, when it's done uh, in the meantime, I took an Uber to the gym, trained some legs today, first leg day before, uh, first leg day after the Arnold. It was pretty fucking epic. And, uh, and now I'm across the street uh, from the gym. They have a place called Sergio's that actually they, they have uh, pretty healthy food uh, here. So I got a, a shredded chicken. Uh, they have cauliflower rice, <laughs> surprisingly, they have cauliflower rice and a little bit of avocado. So keeping the carbs in check, still, and cardio in, still, and, you know, training, training's training. So, thank you. So, they have this drink here that I grew up drinking called... Materba, Materba, and they have the diet version. The diet version tastes very much like the real one, and I love my soda, especially when it's my diet soda. So I'm gonna take advantage of this right now. But anyways, tonight we're gonna head to uh, an all-you-can-eat buffet which I've been excited to hit up it's a uh, sushi buffet which is pretty nice because you can uh, eat whatever the fuck you want but I'm gonna see I'm gonna do my best to try to keep the carbs as low as possible uh, if the fish is of good quality like it looks on online and the reviews and stuff like that uh, it wouldn't be too hard to make myself a salad with a lot of sashimi and uh, and you know crab legs and all that lot, all that good stuff. So until then, I'm gonna enjoy this beverage and I'll, I'll show you guys what my food looks like when it comes so out. Here it is. This is the shredded chicken. They uh, cook it in uh, coconut oil, avocado, and some cauliflower rice, also cooked in um, coconut oil. This is a perfect uh, keto, uh, low carb meal and uh, it's absolutely delicious especially with the onions all right there it is very subtle drop as you can see but very effective and what i'm gonna do is uh two weeks get the spacer so these bad boys are gonna be looking beefy all right just finished getting a haircut um headed now to pick up janice and we are going to meet my parents at the sushi buffet. Very excited about that. Um, kind of a crazy day today with U-Haul not having my trailer hitch, although I did get my car lowered, which looks phenomenal. Um, and then I had parked, you know, in, in guest parking, parked in guest parking, and we also have decals that show that you're a resident. So you would think that they would say, hey, oh, he parked in guest, but he's a resident, so we're good. They fucking put a sticker 
on my damn car. And one of those stickers, as you guys would probably know, the most annoying parking stickers, the ones that you try to rip off and everything still stays there. Yeah, so I had to run back so I don't get run over. I had to run to CVS to buy some Goo Gone so I could scrape that shit off my car. But it's crazy because somebody off the street that doesn't pay rent can park and guest and not get a sticker. But somebody like me that's been paying rent already for a fucking year gets a sticker on. I don't understand it. These people are crazy. But anyways, I'm going to pick up Janice now. And uh, you guys are going to see what I'm going to eat. We are currently in Coral Gables. Very nice area here in South Florida. Sushi is calling our fucking names. But we don't want to die, so we have to not cross the street right now. Oh, hi. Is it, is it cold? No, my it's a little are nippy. just happy to see you. <laughs> it's a little nipply out. No, I'm just happy to see you. You're just happy to see me? Yep. Very excited. Very excited. That's where it's at. Hawk. My parents are uh, already there. Just because you can eat it now, at any moment you might become allergic. Yeah, jinx it. Why don't you? Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jeez. No, I'm just saying. You First have to be careful. two plates. Pretty much all protein, limiting the carbs. Gonna have dessert. So. I already started with Oh, yeah. What you got? Some good stuff. And I ain't Dad. Sure. <laughs> all right, Millennium. All right, Millennium. Put that damn phone away. So pissed. Put see, that phone see, away. See how mad he gets for no reason? Yeah. <laughs> Plate two. Some carbs this time. Janice is uh, taking a look at this little cute, cute kid. Hi. He's looking at the look at He's He's looking this way. No, really. Oh. But really. So cute. Plate four. I caught you. Do you want a bite? Sure. Or the whole thing. That's yeah. not what I said. <laughs> that was great. I know. <laughs> Finish off with a little bit of carbs now. Looking pretty fresh. Oh my gosh. Oh my Delicious. Meal five. <laughs> Plate number five. So as you see, I went from clean and it progressively got more dirty and dirty and fried. But you know what? I deserve this. It's been a long crap. Okay, I don't know what happened here, but this is my plate. I blacked out. I blacked out, I don't know what happened. Some three flavored ice creams, some flan, cream brulee, brownie, I don't know, just a bunch of shit. Let's see how this is. How does that taste? Bomb? Good morning. It's uh, Thursday, March 8th, and um, as you guys saw, I went a little overboard yesterday with the sushi, um, <laughs> which was pretty fucking awesome. Uh, after the sushi um, extravaganza, uh, me and Janice went to go see a movie. We went to go see Black Panther, which I wasn't very happy with, and that's another story. Uh, but anyways, uh, we ended up getting popcorn. And we're those kind of uh, people that go ahead and buy <laughs> our snacks before we uh, go to the movie theater. So we did purchase popcorn, but we brought our own uh, popcorn snack and mixture to add to it. So like Reese's Pieces and all that other good shit, which was uh, pretty awesome. So. Um, this morning, you know, I'm still getting my cardio in. I'm a little pressed for time, so instead of doing my usual 45 to uh, one hour session um, where it's steady state, I'm gonna be doing uh, 30 minutes on the stairs. I'm gonna be doing an interval session. So extremely tough. Um, since I'm pressed for time, that's what I usually do. 
Um, and I'm gonna fast a little bit today. My stomach, uh, as you would probably figure, uh, is a little bit, a little bit off to this morning. Um, with the can, with a lot of candy and chocolate and stuff like that, and fried food, that I'm not, uh, I'm not used to it as of yet. But what I'll usually do is, since I'm not hungry right now at all, at all, at all, at all, I'm not hungry at all, uh, is I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll fast for uh, 12 to 16 hours, and um, and when I do get hungry. I'll at least try to get one to two meals pre-workout. Uh, the first meal would have some fat in it and the second meal would just be like a little bit of protein. Nothing crazy. And again, this is, this is what I do. This is how, what I like to do. I feel healthier doing something like this because uh, it's all about digestion in my opinion. And if that cheat meal, if you continue to just put food, like my normal meals, meal one, meal two, meal three, my body still is processing that all that garbage from yesterday. So it has to, it would have to process that garbage, plus then all this new food that's coming in too. Um, I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that. So I want this first meal, or these meals from yesterday to really uh, be able to be digested. Um, so what's, uh, oh, and my weight. <laughs> so I've been hovering about five pounds over my stage weight, which is stage, or not stage weight, my weigh-in weight. So I would say that my normal weight, uh, this lean, or stage lean, is about 177-ish. Weigh in weight is 175, and I've been hovering at about 180 uh, this morning. You know, you figured <laughs> you're, you're gonna wake up a little bit uh, fluffy and all this stuff, so I weighed about uh, 183. Now, this is, a, this is something that I do. I'm not saying that anybody else does this, but this is what I do. Because I explode like a water buffalo due to carbohydrates, I do before bed as I take a quarter of a diazide before bed. And I do this because of all the extra salt that I'm taking in, all the extra fluids, all the extra carbohydrates that I'm taking in, I swell up like a balloon. And Three pounds over my usual, about 180, is not so bad. Um, but that's with the quarter of the diazide. Now, if I didn't do that, I'd probably up the, be up this morning and probably about 10 pounds. Most of you are like, well, you know, 10 pounds is not, eight to 10 pounds is not so bad. Yes, it is for somebody that's 5'5 five five and, and weighs, you know, only 180 pounds. You know, me walking around with an additional 10 pounds of water is extremely uncomfortable. And again, this is just my body. Some people wake up a pound less. I wake up 10 pounds over. And it, it, it really does not feel comfortable on like my hands. My hands, I could feel that they get very swollen. Uh, my ankles get swollen. Um, my quads feel really heavy and really swollen. So that's what I do, okay? And I'm not telling anybody else to do that, but uh, I wanted to be transparent and tell you guys, you know, the, what I do and the reasoning why I do it. And um, like today now, I just go back to my normal water intake. I'm getting already that one, at least one gallon. I uh, usually get two during prep, but again, I'm not even a week after the show. So I'm still trying to get my water where uh, up to par where it needs to be. Uh, I'm not peeing as often as I usually do, and that's because your body, after a contest prep, it wants to hold hold additional water. So I'm working my way back up with uh, with water right now. Other than that, I mean, I'm gonna be going today low carbs, my usual. Uh, there will be one one fat meal prior to training. Um, and I do some back training with Carlos today. And then 
tomorrow I'll probably take the day off because it's gonna be one day before China and I work. So I wanted to make sure that before I fly out early as fuck in the morning that I got all my luggage and everything. I'll still be doing cardio in the morning, but I wanna make sure that my luggage and everything is, is uh, all, all my stuff is already packed and ready to go. So, and I'll train when I'm in China. It should be interesting. So, uh, yeah, let me get this car, let me get this interval training in. It's held up nicely overnight. They're super duper hard. Still keeping it tight or as tight as possible. Midsection bloated, but super vascular. All right, off to work and to cook my queen some breakfast as usual. Dual Velcro, so you Velcro this piece first on the other side and then you wrap yourself with this piece second uh, and this will have all the Paragon labels on it. Let me know what you guys think. Paragon Waste Taper V2 sample just came in. How's that pattern looking? Fresh. So essentially it's almost the same design as the V1 except it has a different, different materials. This material right here I decided to go much lighter than version one, which I have a version one over here. Get this situated for you guys. All right, here we go. All right, so this is version one here. Very elastic, but very, uh, in my opinion, it was a little too stiff and uh, it wasn't very light. Uh, the V2 is much lighter material. It's still very stretchy and it's more breathable. So this one is, was not breathable at all. This is, this is like a furnace. This one's much more breathable. Uh, as well as we still got the dual Velcro. So you Velcro this big piece first, and then you follow it by the second piece Velcro that goes all around. Uh, this has still the um, inserts where it keeps everything nice and stiff. Same thing here. It has the inserts to keep everything nice and stiff. Um, that's about it. What I'm, else I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting my labels on this and uh and i think that this pattern's you know it very much in style right now it's a unisex pattern everybody loves the camo print um and uh, i'm gonna also have a female sizes this time which i didn't have in the first one i and but a lot of females uh inquired about it so i'm gonna have much smaller sizes now including the normal sizes and see how we can get this done. Solid 16 hour fast, finally coming to a close with some top sirloin shredded from the crock pot. And as you know, my cauliflower rice. So this is how I break my fast, no carbs, a decent amount of fats in there. And I'm gonna enjoy this because it's been quite a long time I feel that I haven't had anything to eat, and I am hungry. So here it is, this is how I break my fast.
So it's about 4 a.m. right now. And it is China travel day today. So I'm just getting my stuff ready to go. Janice is still sleeping. I'm going to take an Uber. I'm not going to wake her up uh, to take me to the airport. So I'm going to Uber to the airport. Um, I have some crockpot chicken cooking right now. And what I'm going to do is since I'm going to be away for so long, I cook this chicken. I'm going to put it in the freezer so that when I get back, I have food ready to go because I do work the next day when I get back after 11 days of being away and out and about in China. So um, I just want to be prepared when I get back so I could properly start reverse dieting and get my calories to where they need to be uh, prior to dieting down for the Tampa uh, Pro. So we're about 21 weeks or so out from the Tampa. So I just want to be on point. But today's there's not going to be any cardio going on. Um, cardio is going to be me walking <laughs> in the Miami airport, as you guys saw in my last couple videos. <laughs> Miami airport sometimes they put you at the farthest gate and you end up literally walking a mile with your luggage. I guess it's ready. <laughs> literally walking a mile with your luggage. So that's enough steady state cardio for me for the day. Um, I am going to fast again today, um, keeping myself uh, uh, with some fluids, some coffee, and I'm pro probably gonna fast for about 12 to 16 hours or so. So what I do is I have my watch and uh, I set it to Miami time. Since I'm going to be going through so many different time zones, um, I at least want to have, I mean, your phone does it, but um, I like to have it on my hand uh, just so that I know what time it is in Miami and uh, I can properly uh, fast because I'm going to be doing a lot of sleeping in the, in the airplane. I'm going to be doing uh, some work and, uh, and yeah, so I have a layover in Chicago so it's gonna be about a three-hour flight to Chicago and then it's about like a 18 hour flight or something crazy like that uh, to head to China so I do have a long long way to go it's gonna be the next day when I get over there so I'm gonna be a little bit uh, loopy like midday I'm gonna get there so I know that when I get to China, the first thing I'm gonna do is unpack my stuff when I get to the hotel and head straight to the gym, uh, move some blood around and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know what time my other teammates are gonna get there, um, Abel and Nikki. Um, I don't know what time they're gonna get, get over to the hotel and their flight and stuff like that. But I will be hitting some weights when I get get to China. Maybe they'll take me to an actual gym but even just doing some cardio and and even if they have like little machines or something just to get some blood moving will be uh, enough for me. I'm trying to think of anything else that's pertinent at the moment. Um, I know, I'm gonna be doing as much filming as I can and uh, and going to be sending it off to you guys. So this episode is going to stop because it's a few days this episode I <laughs> I have noticed so I'm gonna stop once we get to China then I'll uh, stop this episode and we'll continue on the epic journey of the Forbidden City oh and quickly I'd like to mention my <laughs> my clothing sponsor Young LA they <laughs> came through with so much clothing that I have to take everything out of my big luggage and repack it because they sent me so, so many things um, to take to the trip with me uh, this is my I like wearing jumpsuits uh, for travel so I got my young LA uh, little uh, uh, jumpsuit set up here with my joggers which are very comfortable these are a small so if you see what I look like in height and stuff these are a small and I roll up the bottoms a little bit and uh, the sweaters, I wear a medium, 
and they fit me perfect like nice and snug but not too long not too tight so this is the medium and I wear a small in the joggers and they're also running a 20% discount right now since uh, this is gonna be the China tour they're doing China 20 to get 20% off so check them out young LA. when you're at the airport you gotta improvise sometimes so I got myself a, a salad with a measly has like two ounces of chicken with it and then I brought my tuna packets so that I could add my tuna packets to the measly uh, two ounces of chicken and I'm gonna sparingly put some vinaigrette um, some vinaigrette dressing on that so when you travel this is what you got to do sometimes especially if you're not on contest prep which I refuse to take pre-packed food to China and God knows what kind of uh, situation that would have been with food so I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible since uh, muscle tech pays for my foods I have to get uh, a little creative with it landed in China long ass fucking flight ankles <laughs> feel swollen as fuck meals were not great the, the last meal was just uh, rice and veggies no protein but I can't complain I slept most of the flight but I could feel my my toes feel like they're gonna pop so I need to get some moving, get some walking around, and see if I can get my bag so I can go drop off my stuff and go to the gym. Get this blood flow a little bit. This place is so wild.